day two. This is gonna be harder than I thought it was, but we got a lot of work to do today. Let's do it. Let's go. Morning sample with Fefe. Yeah. All right, all right. All right, so every morning when the sun's rising, I like to get out of bed and get out and do a little bit of morning run. Sometimes it's cardio, sometimes it's heavy sprinting, but uh, I feel like it really warms up my body for the day, it gets me going, gives me a little more energy when I have this morning exercise. So I'm gonna do my sprint up this long hill. According to the level on the camera, this is the incline. Well, let's go. It's actually quite amazing how, how exhausting this makes me. I was running four miles, but sprinting, man. Sprinting is, is a bitch. I told myself I'm gonna do five of these. Only done three. I'm gonna crank out these last two no matter what it takes. It's part of getting your mind straight, and even a strong mind, and not letting your body tell you that you're too tired. You gotta fight through it. That's what we're doing. All right guys, we got one more. This is the time when you gotta really suck it up. This is the time for me when I get to the last one. I love it. It's not for the reason most people do because it's, a, it's the last one, but because I get so much more fuel, I get so much more energy. I'm like, let's crush it. There's no stopping us between us and our goals. Just remember that. Let this be an inspiration for you guys out there that are sitting there thinking about you wanna do something. Don't think about it. Get out and do it. it doesn't matter if it's hard. Doesn't matter if it takes a lot of energy. It doesn't matter if it makes you tired. It's supposed to. It's gonna make you better, so let's go. Let's get this last one, let's go. Let's go. Hey, right, boys and girls. That's why they always say mind over matter. If you got the mind, it don't matter. So, now they got the morning exercise in. Feeling good. Feeling accomplished already. Let's go get some work done. And as a treat for my workout, I get to climb up all these stairs back to the house. Ain't hey, life great? And this is what I get to see when I get to the top. Yay! Good morning. Breakfast is ready. Oh yeah. Acai bowl. Oh my favorite. Oh, chocolate in it and almonds. Almonds. Oh, thank you. And coconut. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Are you going to help vlogging now? Yeah. Oh, good. Eat the thank you, Mas. Hi. Mm. Hey, baby. Sexy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are, oh. what are you doing? This is... No, no, no. Hey, don't exploit me for my own vlog. Okay. I'm shy. Shy? Mmm. Meh! Are you talking Meh. to... Are you talking to the birds? Yeah. <laughs> You're ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, I'm gonna go over to Randy's house and do some work. Okay. Can you throw me my hat? Yes. Okay. Hey, <laughs> hey, 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 so. Alright. Fefe. Itekimasu. Itterashai. Fefe. No! You no. have to stay here. I have to go to work. Inside, let's go. Oh, yeah. I'll be back soon. I'll see you for you. Hey, Love you. Love you. Poor girl, she always wants to go with us. Oh, look at that face. Itekimasu. So this is kind of like the first time that I've had a job where Taiko and I haven't been working together. Um, she does come to the rig, obviously, whenever I'm working there, but um, right now I'm going to be doing some sales stuff, and i got to walk to his house because I don't have a car. <laughs> David, please. Well, i got to say, the walk isn't so bad, huh? Could be worse. This neighborhood's cool. Look at that. they got awesome Halloween decorations already. I love it. I love it. Halloween. Ooh, look at this. It's like a haunted house. Wow. That was fumigation. For a minute there, I thought it was a circus tent. <laughs> That would have been pretty cool, huh? This is such a brilliant company. Look at this. Absurdly awesome. <laughs> All right, so 
As I've been uh, calling a bunch of these yoga studios and trying to connect with some of the different local businesses around Santa Barbara, uh, I just got an email. And this email is basically from an artist uh, apartment property. And the way that they approve applicants is only based on their artistic merit. It's really interesting. So we're really excited. We might actually uh, have a place to live here by the end of the month. There's no guarantees though, because they say after this interview that we'll still be put on a waiting list, but that gives us one step closer to be able to live in these artist housing. All right, so we were flipping through TikTok today and we found some good ideas for some content. Now, there's some people that are making this trend. It's really interesting. It looks like the guy is holding the girl and then somehow her head gets decapitated. So I thought we could make a spin off of this where she's doing the hair hang and I'm hanging by my teeth. So we're gonna put together this TikTok video and see how it goes. All right, if you guys wanna see that, go to my TikTok at Ryan S. Acrobat or you can go to our Instagrams at Ryan S. Acrobat. It's all in the description down below, but check it out. This is, this is gonna be the behind the scenes. So, here's how it's gonna go. So I'm gonna hang here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna pretend like I'm holding you here. But you're just standing here. You really do nothing. You just stand there. Mm -hmm. Keep your face as frozen as possible. I open my hand. You duck and run away. That way. Okay. Quickly. Mm -hmm. That makes sense? Yeah. I don't know if this makes sense. You're gonna try it. <laughs> Weird thing about this one is that until I put in the editing, I don't know if it's gonna look right. Ah, we'll see. Go check it out on TikTok. What's up guys? So in the comments, I get a lot of questions asking what kind of exercises do we do? What kind of workouts do we do to stay in shape for circus? And you know, we can do the typical weightlifting stuff, but it's usually body weight stuff that's more productive for what we do in the circus. So, 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 as you guys saw, I do a lot of cardio and running in the morning and that's because I, I like to do it on a fasted stomach. Um, also, I like to eat a lot of junk food, but for what we do, uh, a lot of things that really are important are upper body things. So like pull-ups and push-ups and burpees. Some of these things are what we try and do. We try and do daily because you can pretty much do them anywhere, and, and it's super good for your upper body. So during this daily vlog challenge, if you didn't see the live stream, I told you guys I was gonna do 10 push-ups and 10 pull-ups times the day of the month it is. Today is the second, so I'm gonna do 20 push-ups and 20 pull-ups. It's not a lot, but I told you as we get towards the end of the month, it's gonna it's gonna build up. So let's get to it. So that might seem like a light workout, but it's only the second day of the month. We're building, baby. Now fuel the body with some good food. Go edit this video. See you guys tomorrow. I just finished working out, and what are you doing? You just sitting here eating peanut butter? Yes, it's pasta. Are you doing something productive? I know you're practicing your English, aren't you? Mm -hmm. uh, today, what is she doing? Today, work out a lot. So I'm hungry. Okay. I'm hungry now. Me too. Let's go.